I love buying vintage lots of used Lego, but I absolutely hate it when some of the parts I get look all yellow and sun damaged like this. Fortunately, there's a very easy trick that you can use to restore your yellowed Lego parts, and all you need is hydrogen peroxide. Now this is a really common chemical, you can find it just about anywhere. I got it for $1.25 a bottle at my local dollar store. Now before we go on, let me just say something about safety. Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical. Now, while it's normally very safe, it can be harmful if not used properly. For any kids watching, do not attempt to do this without the help of an adult. When working with hydrogen peroxide, you may also want to wear safety glasses and rubber gloves. Now, I don't have safety glasses, so I'm just going to wing it, but you may want to use some precaution. So I'm out in my backyard. It is a beautiful sunny day, perfect for restoring yellowed Lego parts. Now it's really important that you do this on a sunny day. It has to be sunny for this to work because the way it actually works is that the hydrogen peroxide has a chemical reaction with the sunlight and that restores your yellow Lego parts. I don't know, don't ask me how it works. I went to school for English, not science. I laid out all the bricks that I'll be restoring in this plastic tub and I just started pouring hydrogen peroxide on top. I ended up using three quart sized bottles of peroxide and about half of the fourth bottle. Now, my backyard is home to a family of feral cats, so I don't want them to accidentally drink this. So I have it up on a little table where it's out of their reach. It's very important to keep this peroxide away from pets because it could be harmful if they drink it. So now that my bin of Lego is positioned somewhere in direct sunlight and where the cats can't get at it, I'm gonna leave it here for about three to five hours. You'll wanna make sure that your bricks stay submerged in the hydrogen peroxide as much as possible. So be sure to check up on it often. I recommend wearing a rubber glove and stirring it up every hour or so. Now, these parts have only been out here an hour so far, and they are already looking so much better. I ended up leaving my bricks in the sun for about four hours, so after that, I brought them inside and made sure to drain the hydrogen peroxide and rinse it off good with some clean water. I also threw in a little bit of dish soap to get them extra clean. Next, I gave these parts a good final rinse through this strainer and then gave them a quick spin in the salad spinner. The salad spinner is a great way to shake off excess water and help your Lego bricks dry faster. And it's also really fun to use. Finally, I laid out my clean white bricks on a towel to dry overnight. So far, I am really satisfied with how these came out. So I left these pieces out to dry overnight and I really can't get over how much better they look. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison before and after of those parts that I showed earlier there's already a noticeable difference. Now you can still see some of the yellow on the parts after, but it's so much better than it was before. I think for some of the parts that didn't get as white as I would like them to, I could just try another treatment and that would probably take care of it. This process was super easy and I definitely recommend trying it with your older yellowed bricks. This method works really well on white and gray bricks and I've heard that it can work on blue as well, but it kind of washes out the color, so I would use caution with that. This also works really good on printed bricks. You can see that I put this one in here and it didn't affect the printing at all. I also had a couple of stickered pieces in here. I didn't mean to leave stickered pieces in here. I thought that it might ruin the stickers, but it actually worked fine. So this piece looks good too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe so you can keep up to date on all of my Lego videos. My next project involves restoring some poorly applied stickers. So you'll wanna be subscribed for that.